excited. He's got an amazing dish. It's chicken and pineapple skewers. Uh, and it's on a bed of happiness, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, it? yeah, it is a, a bed, bed of, of a coconut slaw. Oh. Coconut slaw. And I think it just kind of allows the texture. It's about getting the balance right, isn't it? And they're there, they've got them on the plate. But how do we stuck. get there? Everyone's thing? wondering at home. Well, guys, look at this. I've got the uh, coconut in there. I've got a little bit of uh, Scotch bonnet pepper. Um, some grated ginger going nice. in there too. Am I okay to go ahead with this? Yeah, are we okay to just start? Yeah, oh, please do. Please Sorry, do. Oh, that's what it's I all didn't about. Ask, I just I've just you. cooked it. So that chicken should be lovely. Okay, and I'm getting involved. Thank uh, you so more much. More importantly, what have I got here for you? I've talked about the coconut. Mm. That's creamed coconut. You know the stuff that you get into a tin. Yeah. You know you get it in a tin and you shake it up it. because sometimes it's it kind of sets on, on the top. top yeah, that it? layer. Yeah. So invigorate it. That's going in here along with some Scotch bonnet pepper, ginger, garlic. All of that's going and in here. And how much Scotch bonnet? Because Scotch bonnet is, you know, I love, but it's hot. It is. It is hot, but, you know, it's not just about the heat, it's about the flavour mm. when it comes to it. And I think that Scotch bonnet, out of a lot of the chilies, really does deliver. It gives yeah. you something a little bit more. I've got a bit of soy sauce that I'm also putting in here. Nice. I know this is a kind of weird combination, but I tell you what, once you put your chicken in there and you allow that to marinate perhaps Ooh. for at least a couple of hours, I think perhaps overnight will be best. You will get a real joy. What do you think of it, guys? What's mm, the flavour? It's delicious. Like? I've got a bit of a kick on my chicken. Have you got gorgeous? A kick? Yes. Yeah. Mm. But it's just right. Mm. It's not too spicy. Mm -hmm. That's Love right. It. It's more a of a warmth, bit of hot sauce going it? in there. A touch of coriander. And what I've got here is a lime. And all I'm putting in is the lime zest. Okay. And then we're just gonna, one, we've got that lime zest in there. Okay, make sure it's just the zest of the lime. No juice. Or indeed the lime juice. Now, all of these. All the lovely recipes, of course, are going to be on the show when I do that. That's going to be starting tomorrow. Yes. Good mood oh, yeah. food. Good, Good mood, mood food. food. Is that just food that just can lift your mood? Yeah, I think so. I think every food, Alison, should lift your mood. Yeah. You yeah. Know, we're talking about sort of introducing sort of food, whether it's sort of nuts, which are going to give you that lovely sort of serotonin, you know, all these different types of food, or yeah. herbs and spices with the endorphins, yeah. which gives you a sense of happiness. Mm -hmm. This is what food's all about. It's We're now discovering what we get out of our food, you know what I mean? When you kind yeah. of add everything, you start introducing new flavours to it, this is what we get. We're going to take our chicken now and we're going to pop our lovely chicken into the marinade. So would you I leave said, this overnight? Hours, hmm? Would you leave this overnight? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Didn't no. your mother used to leave it in the fridge well, yes, overnight? Yes, exactly that. This is exactly why I asked. And Daddy went but there. always overnight. And, and he opened the fridge and said, something smells good. <laughs> 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 so and true. the better you leave it, the lo the, you know, the nicer it's going to taste. Oh, and, and, I also, and also from, like, a busy mum in a household, I always find for, like, organisation being, like, I feel like I've got that bit done, to know that it's yeah. done the night before is also quite good. Yeah, absolutely, mm. absolutely. Now, here we are. Look, we're just going to be skewering these up. I've t literally been marinating those. We take it, and you can see what I've talked... When I talk about the pineapple. Yeah. Remember we mentioned before about the pineapple being yes. a wonderful meat, meat. tenderizer. Nice. Wow. I think it's called biofleming or something, fleming or oh, something. Right. Whatever it is, yes. it breaks okay. down the protein and it really tenderizes it beautifully. You and you just skewer them barbecue up. Barbecue as well, mm. can you really? You don't have to put it in the oven. Put that on the barbecue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. I think gorgeous. it's perfect. And I think got a lick of sunshine this weekend. <laughs> Yes, man. Put on your T-shirt and get outside. Yes, you know what? <laughs> You're not wrong. I might do that for the barbecue. Yeah. Honestly, this, this it's, is a, like it's perfect. This, if I feel like I'm at a barbecue when I'm eating. <laughs> oh, no, when you perfect. eat food like this. Yeah. Skewer them up like that. Look at them. Absolutely lovely. I've got some cooking there. I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to get on with that lovely slaw. Mm. While, while was you washing your hands, what's your favourite ABBA song, Ainsley? ABBA song, I think... Uh, do you know when I did Strictly and we yeah. all started there and I was dancing with Natalie? Voulez-vous? Oh, yes. uh -huh. oh, God, that means. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, there it is. Give us the moves, moves Ainsley. Uh -huh. Give us the moves. Voulez-vous? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I feel like I'm kung fu fighting. Yeah, you're amazing. Everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I thought I wouldn't Amazing. love you anymore. It's Friday. It's Cook Friday. And dance. I mean, oh, lovely. Just... Hey, guys. Amazing. What about that slaw? Look at that. Um, yeah. Now, Honestly. it's very, very simple. A slaw should be a combination of crunch, 
you know, to get the texture right. Normally, I don't know how you have... Do you have your coleslaw? You, people mix it with mayonnaise, yeah, don't they? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, it doesn't... Coleslaw doesn't have, it doesn't have to be no, creamy, but I, I, it? No, but I... It doesn't always have to be mayonnaise. I've actually got a lovely, lovely reduction here. Right. So I'm using white cabbage. You can use white or red cabbage. I've got a lovely reduction, and I've taken some sugar, mm -hmm. some apple cider vinegar. Yes. Oh. I've taken some little bit of allspice berries. Nice. And I've put a scotch bonnet pepper in there too. And if you look here, look, it's not pot. Oh, you haven't yeah. broken it. That's so the trick. If you don't break That's it, it's not going to be too spicy. Just like when you put it in with the rice and peas. Yes. Yeah. Or on top of the it. Saturday soup, you don't let it pop. Because if you it pop, pop it, it's ruined. It's ruined. That's it. You get that lovely flavour. Yeah. Anyway, all of that uh, bit of cabbage is going in there. The anyway, I'm, that reduction, really talking about that reduction, I've made that reduction. I've just kind of actually sort of boiled that up for a, literally a couple of minutes. Uh-huh. The great thing about the allspice berries is it gives you the flavour of cinnamon, yes. nutmeg, and, of course, clove, all inside one berry. Wow. So when you reduce it down, you get that lovely, warm, kind of spicy taste mm. that goes into your slaw. Nice On the top of the slaw, well. I've got a bit of carrot that I've shredded up there. We've got some papaya. Don't know about that papaya. Yeah. Another great tenderizer here, you know. Really? Oh, really? Especially, especially, this is the papaya. People know that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you know what, Ainsley? I've never seeds. cooked with fruit. Yeah. I've never cooked yeah. with it. I've never, I never did never it. papaya. Oh, it's, it works. It's the seeds. Mm. It totally All the works. seeds in that, they go there too. Anyway, let me blitz through this. Let me just finish this off for you. So we've got the papaya, the carrots, the cabbage. We've got a little bit of the fresh coconut flake. Yeah, boy, shit, that didn't don't there. Forget <laughs> your, don't forget your kebabs. You're oh, smoking yeah, they're, a bit. they're fantastic. Yeah, turn them over. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. There you oh, go. Don't do this at home, guys. I'm going to turn that heat off now. That's looking really, really good. Gorgeous. Look at them. Stunning. They just look so, so yummy. <clears throat> and... Oh, gosh, you can do that well, don't you? Oh, so this that. is, this is what I real wish chef. I could do. I love cooking, but I can't do that. <laughs> oh, don't worry, darling. <laughs> Not without ending up in acne, anyway. <laughs> I'll come round and do it for you, love. <laughs> Thanks, <Ainsley. laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I bet you'd like that when you're oh, I would. Oh, I love it. I love it. I would I wouldn't let him leave. The best-looking couple in the world. Here oh, we are. Gosh. Remember, I, I talked about that. not putting true. mayonnaise. Instead, I want you to get that lovely reduction with all of that. All of this is in the book, by the way. All of these yes, lovely look, recipes. Yes, lovely book, look. Yeah? There we there are. There we go. And, mm. re and remind us, Ainsley, when is your TV show on again? Oh, it's going to be on tomorrow morning, ITV1, 11.40. <laughs> so you can have a line, have a bit of breakfast, and you'll still be up for lunch. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you, can I just say, your energy... It's just the best. I know. Yeah. It's amazing. I need to always bring my best Ainsley energy to the table. Oh, darling. I love you for that. I absolutely it's true. adore You're you for that. You're definitely a Friday man. There you go. <laughs> definitely <laughs> a Friday man. Yeah, I'm going to use my fingers we here. Do. We need those Ainsley. on the top here like that. Look at that. Oh. Look at this, guys. There you go. Something got go on the floor there. Half of it's on the floor, yeah, but we're good. Is it really? Don't tell anyone. <laughs> no, Whatever no you do, saw. don't tell anyone. It looks All right, stunning. Then. Look at that. There we are, yeah. So could and you... because I love you, I've got to squeeze it off. Oh, yes. <laughs> squeeze it <Always>. off. <laughs> so could you, could you, if you wanted, if you didn't eat meat, for example, and if you, if you did eat fish, could you put, like, prawns or, I don't know, salmon? Yeah. salmon if, or... if you're, if you're, a, if you're a piscatarian or something like that, Absolutely. You could use anything. And, in fact, with the book now, I put loads of vegetarian and vegan dishes. Yes. Whereas before, in the old days, you know this, 10% of your recipes were vegan or vegetarian. Now it's about yeah. 30%. Because it's not that we all want to eat vegetarian or vegan every day. We want to feel healthier. Exactly. Gives you an option. And for them to taste nice, yeah. too. Taste Ainsley, you're the best.